What the hell's going on here? How exactly does it work? You stick the tube in the baby's nose and you go So all the snot comes out. Because they hate those like big plastic Look how happy they are. Snot sucker. See this? See this? This is a jacket. This is a sweater. I haven't seen these guys since May. This is a raw vegan smoothie. It's Monday, which means I'm once again healthy. Uh, really sorry about this vignetting. Vignetting is, see these, but I can do this better. Okay, see these black marks at the corner there? There and there. That's called vignetting, and that's from, this lens doesn't belong on here. I had to borrow this lens from a friend. I know the last couple days have looked weird because of, back in the office, I'm gonna switch lenses back. Ready? Three, two, one. Looks better, right? No more vignetting. This is what the lens looked like that I borrowed. I mean, it still saved the day, but it's not. Let me return it. Thank you. Thank you. You saved me. How'd it go this weekend? It was great. It was awesome. What a good time. I didn't watch your recaps yet. But Did you see any like... more of Oscar's video? I haven't seen any more of it. I bet it's great. It's unreal. The trailers. Said it before, I'll say it again. I just love the people in this building. That was John, he makes videos, he loaned me that lens. Do you, do you know what a press embargo is? In journalism and public relations, a press embargo is a request by a source that the news provided is not published until a certain date. You know something, but you can't talk about it. Okay. In this box is this totally, in this box is something totally new. It's a drone. And it's the, it's the latest and greatest. You're supposed to be able to put it in your pocket. It's got a 4K camera. I'm not allowed to talk about it or open that, well, I guess I could open the box, but I couldn't show you until October 18th. So far, this press embargo sucks. In other news, my airplane seat movie, it's about to cross 20 million views. 20 million. That's insane. That video's been up for seven days. 20 million views in seven days. That's like five million views a day. I know it's not five million views. What that also means, which is nuts, is that is now the second most watched movie of all the 650 videos or whatever on my YouTube channel. So I just wanna take one second and talk about viral videos. Now, I have touched on this before in this channel, but it, it, it's a popular subject. It's especially relevant since I just had like a wildly viral video. Viral videos. Viral videos are almost impossible to predict. They're, Mo Green's about to get shot, watch. Ready? Watch. Shoot Mo Green right in the eyeball. Boom. Dead. Viral videos are almost impossible to manufacture, to actually create. Now the flip side of that is that nothing can do for a YouTube channel what a viral video can do for a YouTube channel. Bike Lanes, which was like my first really viral video on this channel, it blew my channel up. In the seven days since I've released this 20 million view banger, I've gotten almost a half a million new subscribers. Viral videos are hugely powerful, and that's why people are always pursuing them. All right, why did this one go viral? Before I get into this, I wanna say, this is why I think this particular video went viral, not a recipe for viral videos in general. A broad, abbreviated examination of why $21,000 first class airplane seat went viral. 
Number one, zeitgeist. Right now, like this idea of opulence and indulgence and over the topness creates a climate where a title that says $21,000 airplane seat, that's interesting, that's compelling. What kind of a world do we live in where a one way airplane seat costs twice as much as the worldwide median household income? Timing. There's a lot of bad news right now. There's this US election which is a mess. There's the conflicts taking place in the Middle East and Syria. There's global terrorism, there's ISIS. There's all of these just terrible things dominating the news cycle. And when something fun and harmless and playful and interesting and sort of newsworthy pops up, everybody just jumped on it. General, this is something like a fancy airplane seat. The whole world's interested in this. It was written about in South Korea and in New Zealand. And in and in New Zealand. It was written about in Canada and it was written about in Saudi Arabia. This stupid story about an airplane seat was general enough to appeal to most of the world. Which is a nice segue into the last factor, innocuous. It was perfectly innocuous. There was nothing offensive or harmful or bad about that video at all, which meant it was safe. For all the press outlets and soccer moms that posted it on Facebook and shared it everywhere, there were no swear words, there was nothing gross, there was nothing yucky, there was nothing offensive about that to anyone. When you combine all those factors with like a little bit of funny and interesting and well told story, and then a lot of bit of luck, that's how that viral video came to be. What's the matter? I don't feel so good. Are you pregnant? What? Um, we have to get food. Do you want to go to Whole Foods now? Groceries are expensive. Uh, tonight, here in the United States of America, is the first ever presidential election. No, first ever, what, what did I say? First ever. First debate, presidential debate. Is the first presidential debate where they have the Republican nominee and the Democratic nominee and then they battle to the death. We are having a debate party at our house, although it's not much of a party because we only invited five friends, one of whom is pregnant, so it's sort of like we have six friends. We're gonna go grocery shopping now. And it's Neve's birthday, we have to get him a cake. See, the debate is at nine o'clock, which I think is too late for dinner. I think people are gonna be expecting snacks. Candace, but Candace thinks everybody's gonna want dinner. Well, this is what I'd look like if I was bald. Male pattern baldness. My friend's birthday tonight, gotta get him a cake. Can I have the six inch vanilla kids cake? He's gonna be so psyched about this cake. Oh, dynamite. Thank you very much, sir. Have a good night. We're gonna order a pizza, and then we got snacks and chips, cookies and cheese and... That big TV that's been sitting in the corner of my office. We don't have a TV here at home. I mean, there's one in the bedroom, but we don't have a TV here. That's the debate TV. So I gotta, I gotta set it up. I'm just gonna put it on the floor. Help? Ah. Progress. Ah. Row, row, row. Oh. Help me. Okay. Oh, wow. Let's take a high one. Well, I got it out of the box, but it's not together yet. Got the TV set up. Feel pretty good about it. Don't know how to get the cable all the way out here from the, from the bedroom. Things didn't work out. The cable box doesn't work in the living room, so I was trying to run it from the bedroom, but the cable wasn't long enough. I'm trying to go to the store now. The debate starts in like 20 minutes. Plus, what's the likelihood the store is going to be open? Now, what I need is like a 60 foot long HDMI cable. Extension cord. 
cable. Where are they? I don't see them. Maybe I can take the cable from the bedroom, the cable from the other bedroom, connect them together with this cable, run that from the one bedroom to the living room. It's the only hope I've got. They don't have a long HDMI cable here. I thought was really fascinating. It's important for our viewers to with remember. nine minutes to spare. Birthday to you. Happy baby's asleep. To you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. All right, Eve, get it. You're not allowed to tell your wish, it doesn't come true. <laughs> Yay. 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 Right, now, more importantly.